Ryan, are are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Why? What's up? Like, like, yeah. like, like last week, like you, you went missing all of a sudden. You got dragged off screen. Like, like George came to your house. He went through the the forbidden garage. I'm I'm here. I mean, I found the the crown, like you said. Did you knock your head or something? I mean, but like like how Harold. Harold was abducted. You you were abducted. Oh my God! That means that means George is going to come after me. Where where is George? George, George, spaceman George. Are you are you here, George? What was what was that, George? George, 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 George. George, 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 I had to go of Duck Harold and Ryan. George, 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 headed to the day, because they see us next. It's time to get the real king his due respect. George is a real spaceman. Fight for the rights of King Nick. George is a real spaceman. Fight for the right of the true king. George, 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 George. What's up, brothers? George is here on the broadcast. George, George, where, where are you? Hollywood. Nope, Hollywood was last week. George Clearwater Beach, Florida, New York. New York, brother. New York? Oh, no. no we, 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 we gotta lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. You're watching DC TV. Now, here's your host, the voice, Dave Canning. It's you. It's me. It's DC TV. It's you. It's me. It's DC TV. Uh huh. Let's start the show! That is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is you, it is me, it is SMG, RD, and H to P. And oh my God, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared because George is in Florida, New York, which is really close to me. And after, and I'm not, I'm not crazy. Okay, I know what I saw the last two weeks. I saw Harold get yanked. I saw Ryan get yoinked, and I'm not going to be next. I'm terrified right now, but I'm going to do my part as the king, JP, the ruling king, co-king, and I'm going to lead this broadcast as I always do. So, first of all, we'll start by saying to my co-king, Harold, how are you? Well, hold it, Dave. It's me, Harold, the king, the commissioner, the puppet. I am doing so so good today that's that's always good to hear i'm glad somebody's not shaking uh uh, um, uh ryan sorry i thought, I, I, thought, I, I, thought I heard something oh king of the micro brother broadcast the dave seltzer the podcast i'm doing well and and brother george what's up brothers george the mania running wild views are up it's george equals views you George shouldn't. Mania, what should they do when George runs wild on the broadcast, brother? I'm going to run for my life, potentially. I am terrified right now. However, folks, as terrified as I am, I am less terrified at the fact that during the month of October, we here at the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast have partnered with Support Connection. And that is why you need to go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. And that is nerd spelled N-R-D. And uh, pick up one of our pink N-R-D t-shirts. All the proceeds from those shirts will go towards Support Connection uh, as they, we fight breast and ovarian cancer during the month of October. So you want to check those out. Um, and something we are not going to be checking out, probably, unless you are on the A-list, the guest list, the VIP list for the wedding of Matt Cardona and Chelsea Green. Uh, we saw today pictures released of the brawlers that uh, are dropping from the Major Wrestling Figure podcast. And those include a set of Matt and Chelsea that are going to be exclusive, as far as we know, for their wedding. 
So, Ryan, you're the Micro Brawler Scholar. You're allegedly the king of the wrestling, the, the Micro Brawler broadcast. Um, so I, I ask you, what are your thoughts on exclusive wedding brawlers? Because you're a completionist, correct? I am. So, so what are your thoughts on something like this being so elusive? Oh, we didn't talk about this prior. I feel like the spotlight's on me shining on my bulbous head. Um, Not easy being the king, is it? Wouldn't well, I, I I know a little bit. I'm starting to learn. Um, it's a it's a bummer. I mean, to think I have this crazy conditionist mind. I want them all. I never played Pokemon, but I gotta get all the micro brawlers, catch them all. So that's a little disheartening. It's cool though. I'm jealous. I wish I would have. Uh, I had the clout and could do it as well. But I still have hope. A lot of, a lot of good brawler brothers and sisters have helped me out. Like I missed out on uh, Mark Sterling got help. So. Uh, I, ne- I never lose hope. I, I think I'm from Georgia Mania. I never lose hope. Take your vitamins, say your prayer, collect your micro brawlers. And stay out of my house, George. But uh, George is not coming. George is in Hollywood, California. No nope. Hollywood, clear water. <laughs> New York. Jeez, Louise doesn't even know where he is. Okay, George so this. Jet pot, traveling God, brother. <laughs> so this is my opinion. And it is probably that of the majority, I guess. But to me, in a way, it seems a little unfair. I'll be honest. You know, to, and I'm not a completionist by any means, but I, for the people that, you know, there's there's a good amount of people who always will say that, you know, the major pod ruined micro brawlers. And I, I think that's far from the truth. I think, in, if anything, they rejuvenated the micro brawlers. I think that's fair to say. Because there was a rumor a little over a year ago that micro brawlers were on death's door nail, that George was abducting all of them. Um, but so I think the major pod guys getting into brawlers has helped rejuvenate. And they're the reason we have these limited drops like Kurt Angle, Owen Hart, The Sheik, Kevin Nash, um, and even the pre-orders that we've got. Um, but to me, in a way, if you're going to it, – it's almost like you're making up the rules as you go along, if that kind of makes sense. Like – I'm, you know, Cardona claims to be the Michael Jordan of wrestling figure collecting, but he made this, he had this elusive figure made just for him and his wife and their wedding guests. It, it almost seems unfair. I think it's a cool concept, you know, and I'm, I'm hoping that they've ordered more than there are guests at the wedding. By the way, if you need a DJ, DJ Dave, see the voice for the best in entertainment. There's only one choice, DJ Dave, see the voice. Um, you know, Harold, what, what do you think about this whole situation? Well, I saw the pictures and I thought, Oh man, that is super cute. I really like the Matt Cardona and Chelsea Green ones. I think they are very special looking. I do not collect them all. I love Pokemon, but I never got them all. And I think it's the same with the micro brawlers. I try to get the ones that I like the most. And well, I guess I'm gonna have to try to get the special wedding ones. I agree though, I don't think it's fair, but I don't know if I count them as part of the series. It's a super duper invite only type thing. Yeah, that's that's the thing where it's not like, OK, you know, we've made these limited brawlers and the first one, first come, first serve, get it. No, you have to be invited to the Cardona Green wedding. And again, I'm pretty would, important, but <clears throat> they did not invite me. Harold, you can be my assistant for the wedding when I DJ. It. I can waka, 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 waka. I can spin records all night long. We'll make it happen. Um yeah, Mark Sterling, you you give me a, a call, slide in my DMs, we'll, we'll figure out a legal fee, you know, fully insured too, just to just to throw that out there. Uh, George, you know, you're you collect a lot of brawlers. You you allegedly, uh, from what I've read on your your uh, transcripts, you know, you're pretty big into brawlers. So, you know, what what do you think about all this? Well, first of all, George was invited to the wedding, but he had important Tropical Thunder episodes to record, so he couldn't attend. But George thinks that there's good more brawlers made than there was people going to the wedding and that some of these are bound to make it to the market. And it's probably going to be just as rare as I would say, like a red up RVD, like a chase. But I, some of them people will be able to buy them, but they're probably going to cost a lot of money. Well, my thing is this, like, obviously if they like, I would, I, like you said, I hope they ordered more than, than people that attend the wedding. Um, you figure that's probably a 200 guest wedding, depending on where it is and like what all the protocols and all that 
nonsense are right now. Um, but so like, because even if they ordered just the right amount for the wedding, like, are you expecting people to sell these? Like, do, are, are your friends just all flippers? <laughs> they're just, he's it's just a room full of scalpers it's not even any family or friend members it's all just people from the major pod group like what tier do you have to be on on the patreon for the major pod to get invited to the wedding yeah, <laughs> could you imagine there. that's the when uh when harold gets married we're gonna we're gonna make a, a tier for him like a thousand dollars you get to go go to harold's wedding you know when it comes to the guest list i would say if they have 500 people there I would think maybe like 200 will probably sell them. 500 but people at a wedding. They are very popular and have a lot of friends. That's true. And money. My human had 250 people at his wedding. Dang. When George got married in space, he had lots of people. There 500, but over 100, I think. It was a long time ago when George got married. Most I've DJed for was 120, so... You know, I'm ready for the big show, you know. Ryan, you, you look like you're about to say something. Yeah, one of the couple of things that people brought up when George said how cute the brawlers were, it's really cool that Chelsea says Chelsea Cardona. That's pretty cool on the card. Mm -hmm. And then also we're talking about, you know, I'm not happy about it that they're so limited, but the, the major guys do a good job at, um, you know, they know they want to keep the fans happy because I know they had their cards recently. And they said, hey, we're putting out this number. People thought they were extra. They destroyed that, you know. So so I hope George is right. I trust George and his technology and intelligence. And he's been around this earth, or this universe, a lot longer than me. So I'm hoping for a couple extra as well. Yes, this, this is going to be hard to see in this photo, but there's two VSKs. So is one the chase and one's like a regular, or are they both just like? One's a chase. One is, one is a chase, yeah, because neither has the sticker, so I don't know if it's the uh, the black and white pants or the black and blue. That's George smart. They just haven't put the stickers on yet. Wow. Uh, the the one I, the, if I could only choose one of the of the photo that came out, I definitely want the thousand dollar Broski Cardona. Yeah. Um, that that Mark Sterling in the suit because I own that same suit. You know, uh, me and Mark shop at the same stores all the time. Coles, baby. Men's warehouse. No, I can't afford men's warehouse. It's a little Hogan's too expensive. Hogan's Beach Shop, brother. <laughs> well, speaking of Hogan's Beach Shop, you get that Rory Fox. Rapid yeah. over Rory Fox looks just like him, brother. I don't uh, even know who that is. So Rory Fox fought Matt Cardona or Zack Ryder back in the day. I forget if it was like on Velocity or if it was SmackDown or something like that. But this was early in his career. And I guess his tights ripped. Okay. Like, oh, hung out. Yeah, you know, I just... <laughs> Let his bananas fly in the wind like a fruit ninja. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, and so Rory Fox never recovered. So, yeah, they want to fight in a tuxedo match. Have we – so, Ryan, you're also are, – are either of you subscribers to the Major Pod Patreon? Like, are either of you in the, the Patreon group or the Facebook right. group? You are? Have they announced when FWF Live 2 is? I haven't been on much this week, but sources have not updated me, so I don't believe so. Okay. They got a lot going on right now. Well, because I listened to the uh, the uh, MC True Long Island Story podcast, and they, they like slowly hyped that up. Like, they're going to have the Big O versus Cardona in the, the Long Island Street fight, so I'm, I'm there for that. Um, but I'm curious if, like, they're going to do it. I would assume they're going to do another, like, tier reward system for it, which would be really cool. So if we had to choose – so maybe – Maybe one of those brawlers is who you're going to get with FWF Live too. Harold shocked. Harold is shocked. I think I, broke I would probably buy it then. Or, or oh, you know who I? <laughs> George, oof, put your hat back on. Good lord, brother. It's kind of off. It's you know it's serious when the banana thumbs off, brother. <laughs> the uh what should we call it uh no what i would love is if they did a uh a chi uh michael chiapetta because i i was able to relate to michael chiapetta as a child as a you know a 20 year old watching z true long island story you know so i'm here for michael chiapetta brawler um also with uh speculation of brawlers as we whoop take a shot not that kind of shot george okay you you relax there arn anderson 
Yeah. Yeah. You heard me. Um, but so what should we call it? The, uh, yeah. In terms of speculation, we saw that Deanna Perazzo, uh, posted a photo of what we believe will be a micro brawler, um, which would indicate that wave two, right. Are we in wave two of, uh, wave three. I'm sorry. Wave three. I forgot. Uh, the, <laughs> There we go. A little Easter egg for Ryan right there. The three C's um, of that uh, impact wave two is coming out. So I, I believe we all assume Deanna Praza would be in that, that release as well. So Harold, I know that it's, it's always tough for you to watch impact because you have, you have a sling TV. Um, but so Ryan, if you had to take a guess, who do you think comes out in a wave number three for impact brawlers? Oh, gee. Um, first one that comes to mind is Willie Mac. I'm hoping for Willie Mac ever since series one. That, that's my one name I'll drop in. I would like to see James Storm. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I always drink on this show. Fre- friend of the show, Shane Martin. He's, uh, he's, I think he's been in locker rooms with James Storm. He's been wanting him as well. James Storm, I saw. All the media. I saw James, somebody posted like a photo, like James Storm went to an indie show like this past weekend or whatnot. And like, he thought he w- he was going to wrestle, but like he wound up not wrestling. Cause like that wasn't what the appearance was supposed to be. So like, but like he did the meet and greet beforehand. Um, but so instead of just leaving after the meet and greet, he grabbed a beer and just watched the show with the crowd, which to me is gotta be the coolest thing ever. So Harold, you look deep in thought. I'm just trying to think of any of the legends that have gone to Impact before, and maybe that will be one of them. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Probably not, though. No, not a, not a good time. And not a good time. No, Hulk Hogan that did. doesn't work for me, brother. Jeff Hardy, Victory Road Brawler. Oh. Not happening. But you know who we might be getting that was also in that match as a brawler very soon? <clears throat> it's Sting! Yeah, could, I think it's got to be Sting in the AEW box, right? Sting, Stang, brawler? Sting, Stang? Sting, Stang, Stung? <laughs> I, would, I would be all for that, you know? Who is the brawler like that we, that we just absolutely need right now, other than the Wee Nominal one? Like, okay, let's play this game. If the Wii nominal Swaggle was to be released, what would be the next brawler that JP would be demanding? Harold the Puppet or that's, Tom. That's that's yeah. true. But Tom, would you like do like the man scout pose just like this? Like would Tom just be like this? It would be a little bit more enthusiastic, I think he would do. Can can Tom like pose like this? No. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, hey, Tom. I think you do that pose. There you go, everyone. Tom said hi to all of you. I hope you're happy. Now, everyone, on the count of three, say hi to Tom. One, two, three. Hi, Hi, Tom. Tom. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Tom. Tom, of course, says hi. Never forget, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah. Uh, Is that all the brawler news we have? Have we covered everything so quickly? Uh... Do we, do we have anything else? I'm very excited for Deanna Perazzo because she's from New Jersey and that's where I'm from. Yes, yeah, she is. State. And she is, and I'll say this, no knock on David Stank whatsoever. It's a great look. At it, and it hasn't even been confirmed that it is a brawler, but I believe it is because it follows the artwork of Stank and, and he got the eyes correct. Um, but I saw Deanna Perazzo wrestle this weekend with Northeast Wrestling at Better Than You. Uh, she took on Megan Bain in a banger of a match. It was great. But that brawler does not do the jacket she wears to ring su- to the ring justice. It is just, and I know that's, it's, it's nitpicky details, but like, that's, it's just a beautiful, like after Will Ospreay, best jacket game in the biz. Deanna Prato. She welcome. just has really, really good ring. She does. She does. So, uh. Any, anybody else got anything to mention there? Harold, do you want to mention anything? You got a fact of the day. You always post those on Facebook and TikTok. Well, you can, you can find Harold on Facebook at facebook.com slash Harold underscore duh underscore puppet and TikTok. Same thing. Yeah, it's there all the same. You there just you type in Harold duh puppet and you'll find me. There you go. Um, I don't know. I don't have a new did you know, but I really liked today is Thursday. And it was, did you know that? 
filming Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe used over 70 wands and 160 pairs of glasses. Is that is that across all eight movies or just like the first one? I don't know. I just typed in Google interesting facts. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. So whatever Harold. comes up, I'm taking it as truth. I mean, you do you, my man. You do you, my fluffy brother. Oh, I got uh, one. I got one. I got one. Oh, he's got one. He's got one, everyone. Look out. No, I forgot it. Oh, geez, Louise. I have a joke. Can I try a joke on Harold since he has wonderful jokes? See if he approves. Sure. What do you what do you got? Okay, I'm gonna look at my notes. Here we go, Harold. Knock knock. Who is there? Ray Mysterio Jr. Ray Mysterio Booyaka. Jr. Booyaka. It's Halloween. It's wrestling. It's, it, it's clearly really scary because if you listen to the audience watching at home, all you hear is boo. Yaka. Jealous. I, oh, I, 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 got, a wrestling I got a wrestling now, joke. Dave. I feel it. Are you ready for the wrestling joke? Sure. Roman Reigns. <laughs> Run ahead. I would just like to state, I would just like to state that Harold's opinion does not reflect that of the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast and is the opinion and thoughts of him and Tom Sasso alone. Please do not stop watching. Thank you for being a good brother, brother. You want to hear yeah, a really yeah, good joke? Yeah. I get it. I get it. People like Roman Reigns. I do not. You want to hear? You want to hear a good joke? Monday Night Raw. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Lemonhead, Lemonhead. That is Dave's. Up and not of the wrestling nerd broadcast. Please keep watching the show. It's me, Dave. <laughs> you know me and Harold are probably going to be each other for Halloween, right? Oh, baby, 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 that would be the best. You know, folks, we are we are thought we are in deep thought about when we should have our Halloween broadcast. We don't know if we should have it. What what dates did we uh, determine that would be? The uh, uh, it would either air October twenty sixth or November second. So please let us know in the comment section. Should we have Halloween on the twenty sixth or on the second? Let us know in the comments below, and also let us know who we should be for Halloween. Maybe you know what? And also, if you subscribe to our Patreon, I'm going to post the video to Patreon uh, if it doesn't copyright it on YouTube. Um, but so. Uh, Patreon exclusive is going to be a video that I sent to our Patreon group earlier. And it is me DJing the Friday night dance party last year during Halloween, in which I dressed up as Adam Cole, did the full, full entrance, boom, baby and all. So yeah, you can check that out. Patreon exclusive. Uh, if you go to patreon.com slash WNRDB, join any level, you'll get to see it. Uh, you can buy the merchandise, prowrestlingtees.com slash the wrestling nerd broadcast. Of course, you buy one of our pink nerd tees. All the proceeds from those will go to Sport Connection. Please buy a t-shirt. And just because it's called the pink tee doesn't mean it actually has to be pink. It can be the black one with the pink out lettering around it. That counts. It's cool. You can get them in t-shirts, tank tops, long sleeves, and all sorts of things. And coming soon, I think, I hope, hoodies and beanies, allegedly. Waiting on Ryan. Some king that guy is, I tell you. Get it together, Ryan. For reals. Like, it's it's bad enough that I got George breathing down my neck. He's in the next town over, allegedly, you know. But, and and, and now I got, like, uh, why, why are you pointing at me? Why? You. Why, you. Why, why are you pointing at me? Don't, it's Three, rude two, to point. Leg drop. One, two, three. It's over. Wait, what? What, what, are, what are you talking about? I, where where are you going, George? George, where where are you going, George? What? Oh no, 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 no! I don't I don't like how this looks. I don't I don't like how this looks at all. Um, it's okay. Okay. Um, in the meantime, well, oh my, um, Harold, Harold, I need a joke. Otherwise, I'm going to uh uh, I'm a little scared. Okay, okay, okay. What is blue but smells like paint? I'm sorry, what was that? You cracked up a little bit. What is blue smells like red paint? It's blue paint. Blue paint. So the other day I went to the store to buy some camouflage shorts. The problem was I could not find any. 
Do, 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 do. John Cena. Could you imagine we got John Cena on this show? Like, how awesome would that be? It would be pretty cool. I would well, tell- got to do is this. Hi, I'm John Cena. Star you can't the- even see him. Star of the Marine Six. It's me, John Cena. I am a famous movie star, and now I have hair. He's got a good head of hair. He's almost got hair kind of like me, but, you know. Hair grew on me. Mine, mine looks better, you know. But, you know, John, John Cena can come on this show anytime he wants, you know. He's more than welcome to. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just really nervous about where the heck George went. Okay. Like it's like, I mean, I locked the door. I think you're, you're, you're fine. You're fine. Everything's okay, Dave. What was that? Oh no, 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 no. I locked the door. Like, what, what are you doing here? How are you in my house right now? I'm back. Oh, fuck.